Hey guys, time for my cactus of the day. Uh, I had locked up the greenhouse overnight and now I'm just uh, checking the flowers that opened up and uh, want to take a video with you. There's some good stuff opening um, and yeah, let's get started. Check out this one. This is incredible. What a beautiful flower. Um, let me see if I can get the label out of the pot. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, this is the label. Flying Saucer crossed with Cantora Gelb, Fugu and Gräser's Schönste. Uwe Kala Hybrid from 2014. I've repotted it last year and it paid off. Such a beautiful flower. So let's have a look what, what else I have in here. Yeah, pink stripes. In the last days the flowers look a little bit messed up. It's just too hot. There really is nothing in between. Only constant rain and like deadly heat. I spent the night in the in the uh, in the bedroom in front of my my bedroom fan and it was unbearable. The temperature was unbearable. Really like 38 degrees Celsius in the bedroom. That's insane. But yeah, this is amazing. Um, Multi-hybrid pink stripes. Here's the body. From the cross, Verlitz crossed with Cantora Gelb. Reinhard Liske hybrid. I don't know from when, but it's an older one. Then I have this uh, Verlitz hybrid. Here's another uh, flower of the ruffled Gräsers Erfolg and Selbstbestäubung and Cantora. Very beautiful flowers. Not much pollen the way it looks like, but it, but there is some pollen, you know. Then I have this one. This is a hybrid between Verlitz and Gräsers Erfolg and Selbstbestäubung. That's a really good one. It's like a mix between two classic groups of hybrids that I'm working with. I love Gräser hybrids. Gräser hybrids are these, these uh, ruffled flowers massive plants and uh, Verlitz have this strong contrast like this purple contrast and uh, I used to get something like pink stripes like the colorful one that I've just shown you and yeah this is a combination flower is slightly ruffled not much but a little bit and uh, yeah I will pollinate this one with pink stripes I want to like get a next generation with more color and the way it looks like pink stripes does not have a lot of pollen you see it like yesterday i had the same problem the flowers were just not like i don't know they needed energy i should probably water them in the next days but yeah i am i have problems myself with the heat you know it's really difficult when you are when I'm outside it's like during the hottest time of the day I start in the morning until like later today and it's just I don't know it cooks your brain this one is the hybrid feathers that's been opening since yesterday yeah, beautiful flowers. I messed it up a little bit because I collected pollen. And we're we're slowly but steadily getting flowers on the on the large columnar species, Pachanoi, Peruvianus, all that stuff. This one looks interesting. This is Gräser's Beste. Um, but yeah, looking at the flowers, I'm starting to have doubt. Because Gräser's Beste is supposed to have 
A flower color similar to Gräser's schönste and uh, this looks almost like it's white. But yeah, we'll see. Let me look at the labels here. Yeah. Gräser's beste. I I really doubt it. Maybe a hybrid with Gräser's beste. But we'll see. I'll post an update when this one is open. Here's a small one. This is uh a hybrid with blaze tiny teeny tiny flower i would sort this whole whole container out because i'm like this is just the size of this flower is just not enough and even if it's like twice as big it's still too small like yeah this is one of the one of the hybrids where i still work with blaze i do not uh, make crosses with it anymore because I haven't seen anything from it that is like that has a big flower diameter. Yesterday I, I felt like I was passing out from all the, I don't know, the weather. I'm starting to feel uh, the climate a lot more. And uh, yeah, not sure how long I will continue doing this. Not forever, guys. I'm not. I'm at some point I'm just saying, all right, this is it. I will sit in front of my air conditioner and which I don't have yet I will need to buy it but yeah that's my plan for the future all right in here um, this is yellow California closing the door behind me very beautiful flower and a total classic over here I have a blaze and this this flower has been eaten by slugs I think but yeah, this is uh, this is one plant. This is my my blaze mother plant, and yeah, I still keep it because I like the flower, but I will not be making crosses with it. Here's another flower of. Uh, Lubivia hybrid Sylvia that just opened. This one is um, Alagold Cantora Gelb hybrid, flying saucer crossed with Cantora Gelb. Very big flowers. I love this one. This is a really nice uh, hybrid. Yeah, and I will probably pollinate it with pink stripes. But I haven't fully decided yet. It's just... Um, I'm not sure. Here's another Wurlitz Cantora hybrid. Strong purple. I like that one. And there are a lot of flower buds everywhere. This one is cool. This is a Validus hybrid. Can't wait to see the flower. But yeah, the plant is crooked. It's just too slender. And um, when I saw that it was flowering, I didn't want to cut it, which I need to do after the season maybe. But yeah, a flowering plant is, uh, is important, like even if it's a little bit ugly. This is Sarvelen and uh, Chalensis, also Chalensis. This is Pachanoi. This is um, Sörensia Formosa Hua Lacanta. I like the flower buds. This is just a interesting flower color. The flower is yellow. This is um, Miraculix. Slugs really did a number on this thing. Still mad. Very, very mad. This is Asterix. Always try to remove the, the old flower buds to make sure they don't cause an infection. And these here uh, are the ones that haven't flowered so far. Really disappointed with you guys.
you need to flower, you need to do, do better. Here's a fruit on Paul Ehrlich. Yeah, and the second flower but looks like it's probably dropped. Yeah, this is not alive. It was very, very overdue that I reported it. It will probably fill the pot in no time. We need to save a spider. Come on, spider friend. Come on. Come on it. Those. Come. There you go. Here's the Hilde Winterer. This plant, um, I had this plant hanging in the greenhouse and it worked great. They love that. These are hanging basket plants. They, they do very well when you can just put them somewhere on a hook. This is Amun Re, first flower. The others will follow. Yeah, this one looks great too. This one, maybe like this one, then these two one day afterwards, and then this one, and then this one. I hope that they spread out a little bit so I have um, so I have time to work with the pollen. <coughs> yeah, this is. Um, Lobivia Laui. Yeah, this one is flowering finally. All right, so this is it for today um, or for now. I have a lot of work to do. I will start with collecting pollen now then i will later do the pollinations and um, i will film a little bit some of the best ones and uh, yeah and then i will probably water in the greenhouses because they need water right now it's been raining non-stop outside of the greenhouses but everything that's inside did not get water um yeah and that's my plan for today I'll definitely take a lot of photos and videos and updates. All right. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. Seeds, trichotzeroes.net and uh, patreon.com slash cactusjerk is the um, thing from like to support the channel. Bye.